a call to industries to leverage on their respective areas of expertise to uplift the vulnerable groups in the community. Culture, Community and Youth Minister Edwin Tong made the call to business leaders at this year's Project We Care seminar. And he says the corporate sector should redefine its measure of success as how well it can uplift the society. We no longer can see the social service sector as a sector that is in a silo that is separate from the corporate sector. There is a strong interconnection. You've got to find relevance in the community. You've got to draw your energy and your authority as well to operate as a company from the community. It tells us that you're not just here to make the bottom line profit, but that your bottom line profit is defined by ESG goals and beyond and the impact that you make on the community. Mr Tong's comments come a week after the People's Association refreshed its mission to one focused on building a connected and united community. The Project We Care initiative was established 12 years ago to advocate corporate volunteerism. Current projects under its belt include teaching basic coding to lower-income children, a sponsored grocery run and a renovation program for the needy. And for more on this initiative and Singapore's corporate volunteerism landscape, I'm now joined by Stanley Tan, Vice Chairman of the Project We Care Management Committee. Mr Tan, welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, for a start, Mr Tan, uh, talk to us about the current stage of uh, corporate volunteerism here in Singapore. And corporate volunteerism is really still at its infant stage. Businesses are still not considering such activity as a core activity. Mm. In fact, I want to reframe it and say that corporate need to recognize that they need to be good corporate citizen. And if it's corporate citizenship, then it should be part of their DNA to engage the community. So this corporate citizenship or, okay, there's another term also, corporate social responsibility or CSR. These are basically easy buzzwords to throw around. And we know that many businesses have been um, embracing it, have been practicing it. But, but how do they make sure that it is sustainable and meaningful? Well, we had uh, uh, Piyush Gupta, the CEO of uh, DBS with us today, and he gave us three points that is very important for, for practice of good corporate citizenship or corporate philanthropy or CSR as you put it there. Uh, one is to make sure that you always am clear mm. about your goals and purpose of your business, which include bis uh, your, your business role in community. Secondly, is the ability to do that on a long-term basis because your relevance depends on your relevance to the community. And third is to make sure that you review that goals every year to make sure that you're on track to achieve that goal. That will be a good way of st setting up principle to ensure sustainability of your corporate citizenship. Mm, and this, you know, being aware of your goals and being clear with it, um, you and your company, Cedar Properties, has been on board this initiative since 2013. Uh, talk to us about this collaboration with Grassroots Community. How, how do you ensure that the projects are aligned with your company's goals? So for CEDA, we're a little unique in that most of our business are overseas. Okay. But even with that, we, we signed up as a B Corp member. Uh, to, in order to become a B Corp member, you have to fulfill certain practices that that is aligned with ESG. Mm. So, so in, in, in order to uh, subscribe to that, the projects where we are involved with, the supplier that we engage, the way that we conduct ourselves need to pass the test of being compliant to the ESG goals. Mm. Um, so our corporate volunteerism is included in that, that we encourage everyone to, to contribute to community as much as they can. And some of your programs include uh, Jalan with your buddy and garden party at the Istana, is that right? Yes, under Project We Care, we try to bring the community together. We try to bring corporates to, to engage in the community at their grassroots level and, and to see the, the, the joy that they could bring mm. to the same community. Yeah. It's really about uh, amplifying this social impact mm. and, and addressing this, uh, the community needs directly on the ground, isn't it, Mr right. Tan? Um, we heard from Minister Edwin Tong earlier speaking of the corporate sector needing to redefine success into how well it can uh, uplift the society. 
Why do you think the corporate sector needs to move beyond profit margins as measures of success? Well, you can't really be an inclusive society if the only stakeholder that try to make sure no one is left out is, is just the government. Mm. Civil society, private sector must all play their role in that. So in Project We Care, we focus on three areas. We know the challenges that the cost of living today have on certain group of family. We need to make, ensure that everyone can still have a dignified living. We know that technology is disrupting livelihood and life skill. We need to make sure that this group of family and their children are being offered the ability to acquire the right life skill. And thirdly, um, in, in terms of having a safe home, we run a program that we enable them as they acquire their own home to be able to equip the home for habitation. Mm. So these are the sort of program project we care will continue to add on to make sure that we deal with such issue in a very practical sense. And these uh, projects, they focus on knowledge and upskilling, uh, basic living needs and social mobility. Uh, looking ahead, will there be new areas that uh, PwC will be focusing on? Definitely, these, these, these are evolving issues. Mm. These are not issues that is going to stay stagnant. Mm. And we need to evolve the program to tackle the symptom of the changes. If we want to make it trans, I mean, in Singapore, I think we have the real privilege of making sure that no group will become a permanent poor group mm. and no child is denied of the access to transform their life on a, on a basis that their parents may not have those opportunities. So it's really about making sure that no one is left behind. Exactly. Mr. Tan, thank you very much for speaking with us tonight on Singapore Tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, that was Stanley Tan, Vice Chairman of Project We Care Management Committee.